or easy, all right? Don't tell me what to do. Don't try and pretend nothing's happened. Yeah, I know. I drank too much. Oh, I went too far. I'm sorry. Far? You were obscene. And as for getting on your moral high horse, you know, when I think of the months, the years, that I've had to listen to your bed thunking yeah, away... All right, all right, I'm sorry. Some of them I never even saw a second time. Do carry on. Don't mind me. Where did you spring from? I thought you were with Enzo. I am. I've got him hidden upstairs. Kidding. I would have gone with him, but he wouldn't have me. It's curtains, I'm afraid, for him and me. You're joking. I wish I were. Now, you see? I hope you're thoroughly ashamed of yourself. Well, they can't have ended because of me. Did they? What if I can't find a caterer? Of course you'll find someone. And if you can't, then you'll just have to tell Sadie. She's going to think I'm such a div. No, she won't. She's not that bad. Maybe you could change the date at the party. I don't think so, somehow. They've sent out all the imitations already. Well, if it's any help, I'll pick Victoria up from school. <sighs> we start. Bye. When you meet me, can we go do some Christmas shopping? Maybe, yeah. We'll see how I'm fixed for time. You see, I could have done your fry up, couldn't I? Special treat any day off. Not love fry ups. Emily says the bad for me heart. <laughs> oh, heck. What? Washing machine's packed up. Okay, I think I'll leave you to it. <laughs> you said the engineer had fixed it. They did. They did say it were on its last legs. We need a new one, Paddy. Well, then let's get one. We could go today. We said we were going to do something nice today. What do you want to do? I don't know, do anything. Um, Christmas shopping in Venice. Paddy, we're not going to Venice. So, can we please get a new washing machine? Hey! What happened to you? Last time I looked, you were struggling out of bed, promising to meet me on my second lap. Went back to bed. Ah. Well, that's not going to keep the pounds off, is it? Are you trying to say I need to lose weight? No. It's just, uh, I get lonely running out there to me own. Did you bring me a paper? What? You mean you didn't even make it across the road? Dressed. I know. <laughs> Is Jimmy gone? Yeah, he said he didn't want any breakfast. Oh, by the way, thanks for what you said yesterday. Oh, yeah? About what? About me and the lads. You know, I think you might have put your finger on someone. Oh, right. Yeah, I think I would have been harder on Jimmy if it hadn't been for you. And I think he needs his dad at the moment. Thinking of staying on long, is he? I don't know. Don't mind, do you? No, no, not at all. I'm just surprised, that's all. I thought him and Sadie were rock-solid couple. Yeah. So did I. Well, to be honest, when he first took up with Sadie, I thought he was punching above his weight. You're doing it again, Tom. What? Running him down. Well, be honest. Don't you? Well, he's the kind, reliable type, isn't he? <laughs> you don't mean to tell me it's him that's getting restless? Look, I'm hoping that he and Sadie will get it back together again. So I don't want you gossiping about this to anyone. Oh, and who am I going to talk to? All I ever see all day is Noah. <laughs> tell you what, why don't I take the afternoon off? We can spend some time together. Yeah. You've never gone this far before. Well, maybe Tom's right. Maybe he just needs some time. Yeah, but not there. I don't want him there. Not with Tom. Heaven knows what he's telling him. Well, what can he be telling him? You haven't given me anything to reproach you for, have you, apart from not wanting a baby? Of course not. No, I'm sorry, I just, I just thought... I, I've lived a blameless life. Mama. Motherhood calls. So, how do you feel? Well, about gays, you mean? Yeah. Well, I don't really think about it very much. <laughs> Look, it's not what floats my boat, but... So, you wouldn't have felt, well, odd if they'd stayed? No. Ah, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm very old-fashioned. What, you? Come off it. You're the trendiest pensioner in town. 
Look, the way I see it is there's no point in putting up barriers. They're nice guys, both of them. What do I care if they fancy each other? And you're a nice guy, Simon. I'm not so sure I am. These aren't going to dry outside today, you know. I know. I'll bring them in once they've stopped drinking. The low comes out on a call and Zach's outside with Hamish. Oh, Paddy can't come. It's his day off. It's fine, coming now. But I thought we were going to buy a new washing machine. Want a ham? <laughs> Terry! Mm -hmm. Terry, don't! <laughs> Do you have to? What's got into you today? I thought you would have been in a good mood. Enzo and I broke up last night. Forever. At least I think we did. We still have some business to settle. Oh, business, of course. Why didn't I think of that? Can we go somewhere private? All right if we use the back room? Yeah, sure. Yeah, Zach. Bit of this twice a day, it should clear up quite quickly, should they? Oh, thanks, buddy. Much obliged. Jack, mm? how's his feet? Well, nothing wrong with him. Do you mind if I have a quick look? No. Is there, like, some connection with the uh, chest and the, and the feet? Well, there can be, yeah. You've just looked at that one. Yeah, I know. Shut up. I know. Hey? I know. Shut up. You nearly done. Well, no. I... Emily, I'm going to have to stay here with Amish because it looks quite serious. It's his, um, it's his feet. Would you like me to go and buy this washing machine on my own? Well, would you mind? Well, not if you've work to do. All right, then. We'll do something special tonight, I promise. Bye, Zach. Yeah, bye, Emily. Is it serious, really? Sorry, I wasn't looking where I was going. You're right, Sadie. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I uh, gather you're taking care of Jimmy for me. Well, not me, but yeah. Well, won't be for long. I'm just going into Hutton for half an hour. Do you want to come? Yeah, yeah. Why not? We can still be friends, right? One day. Perhaps. So this is it? Yeah, this is it. I'm sorry. Look, it's 100 people on Friday the 3rd of December in the evening. OK, well, can you...? How's it going? Fine. Cage was in place? Yes. Drink sorted? Yeah. Good girl. Um, I tell you what, why don't you nip over to the cafe for a cup of coffee? Well, I can make one here. No, I, um, want you to go out. I need to have a quiet word with Jimmy. Yeah, it's fine. Thanks. Jimmy. Please. Don't send me away before you've heard what I have to say to you. There's nothing I want to hear. Oh, yes, there is. Please listen. Go on. I've changed my mind about the baby. Hi. So, why now didn't you just tell her you'd messed up? Well, because I thought it'd come right, didn't I? That's what you're going to do? I've no idea. You know, my mum would be really pleased if I got a big catering order while she was away. Oh, why not? Because it's not just a couple of bacon butties. It's posh nosh for a hundred people. You can't cater for that out of here, can you? Marlon could. What, and you think he would? Well, he might if I ask him nicely. Oh, don it if you would, that'd be fantastic. Um, excuse me, could you have some more juice, please? Yeah, come in. So shall I ask him? Please, please. Oh. 
Well, we meet again. Hello, love. Nice to see you. Do you mind if we join you? Please do. But you seem so happy together. Yes, but I've been having to work harder and harder at it. And he's wanted to end it for a while. Is that why you stayed in England? Yes, I, I guess it is, partly. Nicola, I don't know how I'm going to live without him. I'm sorry. Anyway, it's happened. He's gone. Just got to deal with it. Hey, brothers! Yeah, all right, I'll be with you in a minute. I saw the taxi. I just uh, wondered how you were feeling. I'll leave you. Uh, I need to make a few phone calls. Be back later. It's always a kick in the guts when these things end. I'm sorry if my behaviour played any part. I really didn't mean to cause any trouble between the two of you. Rodney, you're not that important. You think we haven't dealt with worse? I'd love to tell you that it's all your fault. No. Enzo came to England to end it all. Last night was just a little floor show we put on for the family. Oh, really? Makes it better, does it? it well, obviously not for you, but uh, for me, yes. Uh, I suppose it does. Yes, soon bounce back. Will I? Yeah, Paul, you like me, you're tough. How does that poem go? The one before the last, my dear, hurt quite as much as you. <laughs> You'll soon be going out to the clubs again. And before we know where we are, we'll be arguing over whether you can, well, let your next pickup stay over. <laughs> pickup? Is that what you think Enzo was? Well, you, you, you said that you. You met him in a club, yeah? We took things a bit deeper in the eight years we were together. But you don't get that, do you? To you, gay relationship is just about sex. No! So no surprise that a walking cliché like you finds the idea of sex between two men disgusting. I can just about get my head around that. But what I cannot forgive is that you won't even consider the possibility that two men can love each other. Yeah, all right, all right, keep your voice no, down. No, I won't. Two men can love each other just as much, just as fully as, as you love Diane. And just for the record, I was faithful to Enzo for eight years. You've not managed that with anyone, have you? Even Diane. Would you mind keeping Diane out of this? Why? You don't think Enzo's in the same class? Time alone will be the judge of that. My feelings for Diane have lasted a lifetime. I'm off home. Mine or home farm? Sadie came to see me lunchtime. I'm glad you're talking. Good luck. Victoria, are you right, darling? I've been locked out. Oh, well, I'll tell you what, let's go over and see if we can find Robert, yeah? Tom, you want to take the push chair? No, you're all right, love. We'll all go. Come on, sweetheart. It was all right, wasn't it? Yeah, it was good. Oh, Robert, I'm sorry. I should never have come here today. Has something happened? No. Yes. Jimmy and I, we're going through a bad patch. Yeah, well, I'll work that one out. Otherwise, you wouldn't be coming here for it, would you? Anyway, if things get too bad, then you've always got me. I thought you loved Katie. Yeah, I do. It was just a joke. Look, Robert, whatever you do, don't get serious about me. No, I'm not. Because if you do, it's over. Immediately. No reprieve. Yeah, all right. If people fall in love, things get messy. And messy is the last thing I need. There's far too much at stake. Robert! Looks like he's gone out. That's his car, isn't it? He can't be far. 
That's going to decay out the office then, if that's all right, Tom. Yeah, it's fine by me. Let's go. <sighs> that was close. I was supposed to pick her up. OK, so uh, you forgot. You were test driving a car and you don't know she came here looking for you. Right. From now on, we're going to have to be very careful. Yeah. You're not responsible for how they turn out. I don't think so. Oh, especially not you. I mean, you'd know saying how he's brought up. There's nothing wrong with him anyway, is there? Well, I'm not complaining with what could have been wrong with him. Huh? Imagine being Alan Turner. More so like Steph in the family. <laughs> Same again. Here, yeah, I'll get these. Ah, yeah. Yeah, can I? No, better make it a bucket. Where's Paul? Oh, he went home. Oh. I am so sorry. I completely forgot. She could have been murdered for all you care. Yeah, I'm sorry, Victoria. It's all right. Guess who rang up? Who? Dad. He and Diane are coming back tomorrow. Well, that's great, isn't it? Well, it's all right for you lot. I'll have nowhere to live, will I? Maybe we could ask them if she could stay here. Well, it's worth a try. Always provided you remember. I saw the car. I wasn't expecting you back. First off, thanks for the offer. I know how much it must have cost you. Are you going to take me up on it? I wish I could. I want to. But? I don't know if you mean it. Well, of course I mean it. It could be just a ploy to get me back. And even if you mean it now, you'll probably wriggle out of it before you fall pregnant. Well, there's only one way you'll find that out. And why are you doing it, anyway? Uh, is it a baby you want? Me? Or is it just a way of clinging on to a nice lifestyle? No! Jimmy, look, I'll be absolutely honest with you. If it was down to me, I wouldn't have a child. But because of you, because I love you, I'm prepared to have one. Can't you believe that? You love me? Of course I love you. Jimmy, I've not so much as looked at another man since the day I married you. I love you. Hello. Hello. How are you? Oh, very cheerful. Yes. I bought the washing machine. Sorry I left you on your own to do that. Oh no, you're tired. Actually, I quite enjoyed myself. I bought some Christmas presents. So, how long did you have to work for? Well, I just got in actually. It's that new local bee's rubbish. You all want to go out tonight then? Yeah, well, well, you know, I, well, I don't mind. I mean, do you fancy going to the dogs? The dogs? Yeah, it'll be something different, won't it? Go to that Mexican restaurant in Otten. Rather go for a meal at the bar. <gasps> so you'll do it? Yeah, of course I can. People oh. say no, but all oh, no problem. You want something special? Yeah, me and Malin are going clubbing, aren't we? Oh, yeah. You can come as well as you want. <laughs> what do you think? Oh no, you know I hate all that. You go if you like. No, you're all right. I'll left it on your own all day. I'll just go the woolly. Oh. Come on, Mal, we've got to get you to it. Woo! Would you like to see a picture of my washing machine? Oh, yeah, go on, then. Let's have a look. Uh, and I'm under the bed in the B&B. Under the bed? Dare I ask why? No, no, it doesn't matter. I, I'm cleaning the room. Yeah. And I hear him come in with this ghastly woman. Oh, they didn't. Oh, they did. No. Oh, bras, pants came floating down. And I'm lying there listening to it all. <laughs> you should have just popped out. Guess who? I don't know what I can do to put things right. I wouldn't even try. Every time you open your mouth, you make things worse. Nicola! Will you please take yourself out somewhere? I am sick of you yapping around at my heels like a bad-tempered puppy. You want me to stay, don't you? It might be better if you left us. OK, then. Oh, I'll start again. I... 
I don't know what I can do to put things right, but I do know that I behave badly and that your relationship meant a great deal to you. I also know, perhaps to my surprise, that my relationship with you means a great deal to me. I was hoping that uh, we might bury the hatchet and watch a movie, have a drink. Which, of course, will solve absolutely nothing. It's the best I can do. What movie is it? Let me guess. Judy Garland. No. Oh, brother, where art thou? Don't tell me I got that wrong, too. Took me ages to pick it out. It's fine. <laughs> George Clooney's a bit old for me, but... Hey, it's only make-believe. I, uh... Brought us a curry, too. Right. Well, male bonding, here we come. <laughs>